A Light in the Belfry was released in 1995 and written by William Connors. With interior art by Mark Nelson and a cover by Ralph Ruffell, it is for level 68, 6 to 8, and is 32 pages long and includes a poster map and an interactive CD. It takes place in the new domain of Avonlea, which is a medieval domain. The domain would eventually be part of the Shadowborn Cluster. In the early 90s, CDs became the craze. They were the future of the new great technology. Never in a million years did we ever think of any things like iPads or download music, stuff like that back then. But of course, CDs were the craze. Of course, TSR did want to get into this. So they made a series of interactive CD products and one of them was for Ravenloft. And Light in the Belfry was it. It would be the first and only CD interactive product for Ravenloft. The CD experiment as a whole was a failure overall for TSR and they never tried it again. The problem was the execution. In normal adventures when players enter a room, the DM reads a box text to describe the room to the players. Here, the DM pushes a track number on the CD and a narrator reads a description. It's the same with the big events in the game. The problem is that none of the information is written down anywhere in the module. So if there was a problem that required the description to be read again, you had to play the track again. Or if the CD was broken, scratched, or any other type problem where you couldn't have the CD, that was going to be a problem. Now, these days it's not a problem, but back then it was a problem. So you can easily these days find a transcription online and download it or print it out. But back in 1995, there was no internet yet. And getting a hold of a transcript was nigh impossible. A DM would have to word by word write that stuff out themselves. And some of the narration and sound effects were just plain out hokey. The adventure itself is simple. The heroes enter the domain of Avonlea, explore Tarragon Manor in a dungeon crawl, and defeat the agro necromancer Morgoth to escape. The domain is detailed fairly well, and the history of the Dark Horde, when transcribed, is interesting. The domain is magically cold, and players will have to deal with frigid conditions even in Tarragon Manor, which lies at the heart of the domain. Morgoth was an evil necromancer who was driven from his homeland and arrived in Avalay seeking refuge, and surprisingly, he was given it. He was taken in by King Furin Shadowborn, who was a noble ruler and lord of a group of paladins. Morgoth served the king, but he fell in love with his sister Aurora. Knowing she could never love him, he began to plot ways to put a spell on her. However, one day the knight Lambert arrived in Avonlea. Lambert had been the knight that had drove Morgoth from his homeland. Morgoth panicked, and in an act of betrayal, he placed a magical spell on Aurora, which put her in a state of suspended animation. Morgoth killed Lambert, King Shadowborn, and his paladin knights, but not without a price. Morgoth's soul was drawn into a mirror which shattered and sent 13 shards scattered over the domain. The heroes must find the 13 shards and place them back into the mirror which will free Morgoth and allow the heroes to awaken Aurora. However, Morgoth will not let the heroes awaken Aurora and do everything he can to stop them. Until the heroes release Morgoth, his spirit haunts Tarragon Manor and will cause the heroes all kinds of problems. Despite the CD format, I do recommend A Light in the Belfry. It's the only place you will find a detailed description on Avalay and Morgoth. The adventure is fine. It's a straightforward dungeon crawl through a haunted house. The CD is a fun novelty item to have, but you will need to get a copy of the transcripts online. You will need them to play this. This will make things very much easier for a DM and for the players. But for kicks, I would try playing it with a CD, especially for you older Dungeon Masters who were uh, around back then. And uh, you have a group of younger players who don't really do CDs. They'll get a kick out of the goofy experience. So it is worth a buy. The only thing more fragile than glass is a lover's heart, a Vistani proverb. 
Decades ago, the fair land of Avonlea was guarded by an order of paladins known as the Circle. One stormy night, a wizard named Morgoth came to seek refuge with him. But all was not as it seemed. Morgoth was no mere wizard. He was a necromancer on the run from a knightly brotherhood that he had vowed to see him destroyed. When fate revealed his past, he betrayed the Circle and fled. Can your heroes complete the crusade that destroyed the Circle? Can they learn the secrets of Morgoth's power before the necromancer destroys him? Accept a quest, if you dare. A Light in the Belfry is the first Ravenloft adventure to feature an interactive audio CD. As players explore Morgoth's dreadfield manor, they will actually hear the lamentations of tortured spirits, the clash of swords, and the thunderous war of magic. With almost 100 tracks of dialogue, sound effects, and mood music, TSR's interactive audio CD adventures add a new dimension to the horror of Ravenloft.